Yo, 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 we back, man. Hey. Hey. <laughs> yeah, I mean, some Ali in the building. What's good, bro? Cool, y'all. Feeling good to be here. Digging the video. Yeah. It, Digging the video. You know Took what I mean? He got that feel to it. You man, know what I'm saying? You already, yeah. it put me in, uh, once again, it put me in Herb hometown. But back <laughs> in the 90s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In yeah. the 90s, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm trying to think of a group, but I ain't going to say Tribe Called Quest. It's somebody else. It do got a Tribe feel. It do. Though. It do. It's it do got a Tribe feel. Anyway, yeah. yeah. Heard that a couple times. That's, yeah, good that's, stuff. That's, that's, that's a blessing, man. Q-Tip, one of my favorite producers. Man. Oh man, that See, is, there we then. go. <laughs> we did it. We didn't even try to do that, y'all. That, yeah. That's that's live, right? Yeah. <laughs> so look, bro, tell the people about yourself, man. Like I met you. I mean, what it was like? Maybe what two or three years ago? Maybe yeah, three uh, years ago. It could have been four at this point. I yeah, it's, it's, it was some years ago. Yeah, put I it was like still that. Teaching. Um, yeah, yeah, so. and um, I, man, I can't remember. I don't know how I came across your your music. But I was gravitating towards it. It was just, it was authentic. You know what I mean? I can tell that, like, you believed in what you were doing. And I uh, reached out to the homie, got him on the podcast. And, um, man, he told me some some stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, like everything from the, the teaching to the, you know, being a DJ engineer and, like, all of that. And I was just like, yeah, this one of them dudes you you keep around. You right. know what I'm saying? Keep around. So, welcome to the Good Hennessy Show, man. Yes, Glad you're here. On, on such late notice, too, I literally hit him up. At like maybe what three or four hours ago. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> man. And you, I thought you was like right, really right around the corner, maybe still. But yeah, still, this is like real close. Yeah, yeah, it's man. real close, it's, real close. I, it's a pleasure, man, because we got a lot going on right now. Too, yeah, man, yeah, so yeah, yeah. I appreciate y'all. And yeah, he made man. it on time, man. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about, man. I love when guests be on time, yeah. man. He, he he walked in the building, but it was about six forty-five and everything. He was, you know, just posted waiting. Well, whatever y'all do, I'm here, man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah man. But uh, you, you mentioned you got a lot going on right now, mm-hmm. um, and you know we definitely want to get into all of the things that you got moving, um, specifically with with the career and everything, man. Um, tell us a little bit more about you know for the people that don't know, like what what exactly do you do? You know what I mean? Oh man, I'm a I'm a I'm trying to be like a tradesman too. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? I love music and it's something I've always been like inclined to do. But uh I mean I right now I'm um I'm I'm in the process of getting my heating and air uh licensing. Okay. I'm like my my one of my best friends is an electrician. I went to DeVry, like I'm trying to finish my electrical, you know, journeymanship. Mm-hmm. Like when when I say what I do, man, I wanna like I don't know. I feel like I, if I get to the point where I want to have children, man, you know what I'm saying? I want them to learn something where they can start early learning something. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because I was in a generation where we lost a lot of time, bro. <laughs> you know, we had single parents. Right. Mm-hmm. You know, TV was raising me for a minute. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Just because it had to be like that. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. So we could survive, man. Right. And it wasn't like a lot of uh, resources around all the time. You know what I mean? So when I think about my musical legacy, I think that's kind of like just a part of me. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? So... I've been really trying to put my hands. You can see my hands is kind of crusty right now. <laughs> I've been cutting them up on sheet metal and you know, yeah, I've been yeah. getting it in, man. But I'm a producer. Um, <clears throat> I've been professionally doing this. When I say professionally, I mean getting paid for it since 99, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Since I was, I was young. I was like 15, but I was DJing parties. You know, I was probably the youngest person to ever perform at MJQ when they were still doing rap shows in the <laughs> front. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, you know, shout out to Senior Kaus, man. He just went to Portland, just moved out of Atlanta. But him, he and I, we came up as that same age group where we was around older heads like uh, Cognito who opened up Fat Beats when Fat Beats had the record okay. store here in Atlanta mm-hmm. on Mitchell Street, not too far from here. Um, you know, I've been around all those elements and DJing is what brought me to all gotcha. this other stuff because I had to appreciate songwriting before I started, you know, branching out into all this other stuff. So. So you mentioned the DJing, man. Like, how how did you get into DJing? You know, where where did that come from? Oh uh, man, my my cousin uh, Tori, he's from Long Island, New York. <clears throat> First time I ever put my friend, my fingers on a record, and yeah. the jiggy jiggy, you know, and heard it in the <laughs> headphones. It was like magic. I was yeah. like, I don't hear it nowhere else but over here. It was yeah. just, it was crazy. I mean, I was younger, like uh, I might have been like seven, mm. eight, just learning what it does, the, what the crossfader is and um visiting my family and all that and um but you know my mom got me at my first set i had some gemini 12 like uh what they call them things 2000s or something yeah, everything was 2000 back yeah, then, yeah right because it sounds futuristic yeah, i know right but, <laughs> it's like we 15 years removed from that right? <laughs> yeah and it still kind of got a ring to it yeah but. now you you said i'm sorry i'm just about to go off on a tangent <laughs> real quick but like 
Bro, remember when we used to see stuff like what they said how 2015 and 2020 would look like? Like Jetsons. And yeah, bro. I'm like, we nowhere near like, where the flying cars at, man? man. I know I've seen like a video of like, but I'm talking about like, you know, the videos we used to see growing up. Yeah. Just Kids, like, like yeah. we supposed to be like really flying right <laughs> now, bro. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I'm glad because you know we can't even handle the ground now. Yeah, well. yeah, yeah. Like, as a species, we we we'd be probably extinct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Now. We need we need about 25 more years, man. Yeah, we let our kids see it. Right. <laughs> Imagine the recalls on like <laughs> Chrysler recalling all the floating cars this year. It's funny you, you mentioned you mentioned about um, being single single parent home mm -hmm. or whatever, and then you, you said that uh, TV like was raising you. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I just found that kind of interesting because. It took me the longest once I got in the real world to uh, figure out that it ain't like TV <laughs> in the real world. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah, I really yeah. kind of thought some things were like how they were on TV. Mm. And I kept hitting this brick wall like, damn, this shit supposed to be a whole nother type of way. Mm -hmm. And then it just finally hit me a little later on like, man, this this real life out here. Yeah. Like, yeah. It ain't like it is on TV. The real shows got cut. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. Rock got cut. Yeah. Oh, you know Rock. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You took it back. <laughs> like South man. Central had a yeah. South Central had a show for a minute. Like, shows. like Rock was a trash man, bro. Like, yeah. Like he, yeah. That's your main character is a trash man, bro. Like that's real though. You and know. That, you know, all of that kind of tie into the whole working um, class music group too, though. You Indeed, know? Oh, man. man. Indeed. You know, kind of explain to us like you know exactly what is the working class music group. It one of the dopest names for a, a label ever, in my opinion. Though it, but, it is, it know. is dope, and that was dope how you just slid into that's that transition. A, that's called like, that's like, called something like that was hey, smooth right that's now. That's called a segue, people. Okay, that's a, yeah. okay. <laughs> I'm learning a little bit. Okay, <laughs> totally unscripted off the cuff. <laughs> that was beautiful. Uh, that was like Stockton right there. Hey, man, you <laughs> For know. Sure. Yeah, um, yeah, we we how can I say this? We we got separate ventures, a lot of us, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? But the umbrella is uh is what it is. Um Illustrate is um probably the central most producer in Atlanta hip hop when it comes to independent stuff, straight up independent, you know, not independent with a, a backer, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Independent, independent. But um, you know, a lot of people have worked with him uh over the over the years and he's become like a a hub mutual friend or you know pretty much a lot of people who move and shake here man we do a lot of work for people who are like doing other things you don't even probably know because mm -hmm. he does like album arrangements and um mm -hmm. i mean his beats is just ridiculous but um he keeps it he's from the midwest he's from fort wayne indiana mm -hmm. so um people you know they, they hear his music and they they kind of get the feeling of like ditc or okay. maybe even wu-tang sometimes but he still has that element from the midwest where they kind of just mix it all up and um, you know, that's, I think that's why he's such a good crossroads of, um, of for artists. You know, people mess with him whether they're from St. Louis or L.A. or New York or Atlanta, Detroit, and um, you know, you can kind of hear it in all the music that he's put out. And he's produced on everything I've released a little bit. You know, I usually do the bulk of it, but our next album is actually the next one. It's actually okay. uh, going to be him on the beats and me rhyming. But working classes consist of Black Tex. He's an artist from um, Forest Park. Shout out to homie Black Tech. Yeah, man. Uh, super hard work and super talented dude. Uh, Book Brown from Detroit uh, is down, an official. Um, man, who else? Ek and Dio uh, from Lions Den. If you've been in Atlanta and you've been to a lot of hip hop shows, you probably know who Lions Den mm -hmm. is. Um, man, Era Black, my dude from Western Massachusetts. We got people from all over the place, man. We uh, got to be Kareem from St. Louis. Um, man, there's a lot of cats. Rosewood from Amityville, Long Island. Um, man, uh, civil rights from Eastside Atlanta. Uh, man, we got a long, long roster yeah. of heads. Man, Four <laughs> Eyes from Chicago, but well known in Atlanta for Shout years. Shout out to Four Eyes, man. We got to have them yeah. on here too. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Four Eyes got stories. Yeah, so we we just we doing well with what we what we doing. Like we've all known each other so long, it's kind of natural. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. gotcha. And everybody just work, man. Like we all put into the pot, man. We trying to be trying to be our own bank you know mm -hmm. what i'm saying bank on our set on each other you know yeah, collateral yeah, just absolutely. being just your word you know what i'm saying yeah. what you, your talent you bring to the table it's working out you know? pulling those resources together man indeed yeah. yeah that's that's where it's at that's really where it's at man um you, you have something going and, and i really want to wait until the next segment to get into that so you know um but i know it's something special that you're doing um you know with the whole catalog and everything yeah. and, and and just to be able to when I first saw this, um, I think you put a post on either Facebook or Instagram, something like this, and I saw it, and I was like, man, like, this is dope for two reasons. Number one, you know, it's actually getting the people involved. 
you know and and, and the second thing is like man the beauty of independence mm. <laughs> because i thought about that like if you was in a major situation you'll never be able to make that happen you know what I'm like i just <laughs> yeah, thought about it. it was like that's yeah. just impossible to do it was like them people look at you like bro <laughs> like right. no nah, we ain't gonna be able to do that so you know um yeah. That, that's that's all. and what we're talking about is uh the whole catalog um giving you guys the whole catalog um uh it's forty dollars right forty dollars for the whole catalog and it's for something special mm-hmm. um that yeah i mean will tell us about a little more in the second segment we'll we'll wait for that y'all have to wait to see but um what i what i really want to talk to you about right now is just um moving around as an independent artist you know what i mean i know you got other things that you got going on you know with the trades and stuff like that but specifically when it comes to being a, a independent artist mm-hmm. out here truly being independent and, and you know being able to um really live off of your your music you know what i mean like a lot of people don't know what that looks like and, mm-hmm. and you know i, I want you to kind of go over you know that that true grind of being an independent artist and, and you know just those steps that you got to take to kind of stay afloat you know what i mean no doubt um well man we all learning as we go mm-hmm. you know what i mean i would say if you if they if you're super independent like that um you need to have a good talent man outside i would just recommend you just having a trade a job not necessarily a job but a hustle mm-hmm. a hustle a, a trade is something where you can have a job with it and a hustle you know what mm-hmm. i'm saying like honestly right now i work uh I'm part of a federal program with the airport right now. You know what I'm saying? So it's a, it's a good, I'm starting at the bottom, but the, the growth potential is ridiculous. Mm. You know, it's, it's stupid. Like, especially for somebody with no children, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, single, you know what I mean? So I would always say, like, think outside the box, man, because mm. the image that we get for music, I mean, you don't really get to see the people, the suits, you know what I'm saying, who are putting this stuff out for you, but they have portfolios, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, I'm talking. That's investment. I'm just talking about somebody from a, a working class standpoint. Mm. We have options of how we get income. You're supposed to have more than one stream, no matter what. You know right. what I'm saying? So I would just say invest in yourself like that before you just bank on talent, because talent don't really get you as far as uh, your independence as a you know person who can finance yourself mm. in relationships. Because you know you need pretty much both of those. You know what I mean? Right. The more money you have, the less relationships you have to have. Mm. You know what I'm saying? The more relationships you have, maybe the less money at that. But you really need to have, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, right. Both of those things in your pocket. And you know? um, I mean, that's just my own personal experience. You know what I mean? Like, it's always been that way with me too because I do so many things. I mix mm. my stuff, I master my stuff. Um, that I don't always have the the. Um, what am I trying to say here? I ain't always had a lot of people helping. Yeah, <laughs> you yeah, know what yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> That's how it happens, right, though, man. Yeah. That's how you learn how to do all that stuff because right. you don't have the help. You got to do it yourself. Indeed, because I've been, mean, you know, the hurry up and wait situation. When you're independent artist, you know about hurry up and wait. Because mm-hmm. if it's a, if it's a, a hookup situation, be like, yeah, I got you. Somebody got you on this photo shoot. They got you on this video. They got you on this blah blah blah. You know, you on their clock. You on their time. You know? mm-hmm. So which is, I've, I've turned it around to a situation where people come to me for mastering and mixing and stuff like that. And that might get me through a, a couple mortgage payments mm-hmm. or, you know what I'm saying, get me the time to take off from clocking in somewhere and, and fulfilling a, a, a obligation with some beats or some rhymes, you know what I mean, DJing, doing cuts for people. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, man, you just got to have more than one stream, man. And then uh, you also get more stories, more life conviction, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? You also got more to write about when you're doing that. So. Man. Yeah, I, I would say that, man. Get out and live, man. Make some money. Man, you know, <laughs> it, you said a lot, but one thing I really want to pull out of that is just um, people really think, it, it, and it's always in rap, though. You know what I mean? Because I run into so many people that, you know, they, they, they're quick to quit their jobs without a plan. And um, it's kind of it's it's kind of a, a, a iffy subject because I've been in been in that position before where I was just you know I was forced to leave a job and I you know I went out here and did music full time for a, a long time yeah. and you know struggled in the process made some money you know a lot of that mm-hmm. but you know you have that thing where people kind of like man I don't want you know no nah, man you ain't you ain't going hard you got a job <laughs> and then you know because I used to be in that same boat I used to think like that and then I had to sit back and think about it. I was like well hold on if I if I've got a job and I'm doing what I want to do, and I've learned how to manage all of that. Who really working hard? You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. you got to really think about it. And and, and really, I, I I really attribute this to my wife. Like she she'll tell me on some like, man, look at your job as funding your dreams. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like it's really my job is a bank 
Yeah. That's oh, all right. it is. I mean, yeah, that's what it is. It's a <laughs> bank. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Right, like, I don't, yeah. I can be independent because I don't have to go and ask for nobody for, for nothing. That's you know right. what I'm saying? So it's, I, I, I'm glad that you said that because a lot of people don't, you know, a lot of people think like you got to be out here and, and not work. It's yeah, like, man. no, bro. It that's ain't like myth, that. Right. Yeah, it's, it's a true myth. Even those major artists who y'all think are, all right, we ain't going to get yeah, out yeah, there. Yeah, I'm going yeah, yeah. yeah. to leave that alone. I'm going to leave that alone. <laughs> Yeah. I'm gonna leave it alone. Yeah, man, everything ain't as pretty as it's, as, yeah. as it's meant to look. So you buy it, so it catch your eye. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. If somebody looking just like it's kind of like, I guess there's a thin line between like relating to people and then putting on a front to make people attracted. It's like I don't mm -hmm. know that that uh, X factor like that. Maybe I do because I'm doing pretty well with it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> as far as my my level of things, you know what I'm saying? But I don't put on like I, I clean up. You know what I mean? But I got bills just like you, like that say over there. You yeah, know what I'm yeah, yeah, absolutely. And if you're building on something, man, you gotta. Uh, it's gonna take hard work, man. You just you can't get around that. It's absolutely. Like, you know. It's not what y'all saw growing up on TV. It's yeah. not <laughs> right. <laughs> it's no, not. Sir. No, Trust. Sir. That's that's the theme of the night, bro. It's that's not what it, you saw man. on TV. You're right though. You absolutely right. And what right. you said about you know having more to write about, you know, saying get out there and live. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. what I'm saying that's another brick wall I ran into. Just thinking you're just supposed to record, record, record. I, ran out stuff to talk about. Yep. It's like, damn, I ain't really did nothing. It's a lot of stuff I ain't did. Yeah, yeah man. You I got forced mean? out of a job too before, mm -hmm. and I picked up a, um, a tutoring gig, but I was going to different, uh, like, low-income places, mm -hmm. like like the bluff-type areas. Oh, you know yeah, 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 yeah. And, uh, you know, a couple weeks of that, bro, you'll have a lot to rap about. You know what I'm That's saying? a whole new perspective yeah. there, bro. <laughs> yeah, like, I mean... <laughs> Some of that stuff, man, I'll just never forget, and it really yeah. it kind of weigh on me to, to 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 today. You know what I'm saying? So you know, just have you gotta you gotta pay your way through life, man. Mm -hmm. Whatever that is, whatever that means, whatever you feel like is is coming out, so you can fill it up with something else. So that's what we was on, man. That's what that's what working class is all about, and uh, we gonna launch that site soon, man. That's why I took my website down actually because okay. I'm considering okay. revamping it where everything is kind of like inclusive. Cause I remember like two years ago on Facebook, I made a post about, man, I need a team, you know, I'm doing all this, I'm working hard, wearing all these hats, and the most high gave me the team, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah, so, yeah. I mean, you know, I gotta like, I wanna be, I don't wanna necessarily be like no central figure, but I just wanna make sure everything is kinda, you gotcha. know, the blessings is going full circle, man, you know, so I just wanna change it up, cause it, it ain't just, it ain't just y'all mean by no stretch, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. Even this album, man, like, we, Illustrate wanted to call it another Yami and Somali album and mm -hmm. just maybe name it Monday Friday because that's what we we have, we actually have parties on Monday nights when I used to bartend. Mm -hmm. We you know the weekend you serving all weekend giving up getting your money and then Monday night we just wanted to play it you know have fun you yeah. know get some bottles and chill and make record whatever so we started calling the album our our, our Monday nights Friday nights because we just mm -hmm. treat them like the weekend so that's what the group actually became titled. And, um, I'm seeing the the, the uh, visuals too, like the artwork, the, the uh, you graphics. It? Yeah, yeah, that's man. dope, man. Shout out to dope. Flux, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Very dope. Um, so that's what it became. So I'm I'm kind of just you know everybody gonna know who y'all mean is if I'm doing my job, but I just want the whole uh, idea, the whole landscape of what we about to be what you see when you see me, when you see anybody affiliated. You know what I mean? Like I don't want it to be like a solo. Gotcha. Thing like we listened to Dog Pound, um, excuse me, Snoop Dogg first album. Mm -hmm. You know. Rage started rapping, you know what I'm saying? Man, the, I, you know, what bro, I, mean? I love that, man. I talk about that all the time. Like, who does that? Like, your your debut album, bro. Yeah, the yeah. first person they hear is Lady of Rage. Man, that's just that's teamwork. Man. That's so, teamwork that's for real. It's like, no, nah, this here is put you in the studio with him almost. You know yeah, because Book Brown did that on the um, Black Noise album. He was playing one of those Black Noise instrumentals earlier. I heard. Yeah, 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 um, yeah, 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 on yeah, that yeah. Black Noise project. <clears throat> excuse me, by Illustrate and um, Arafat. Uh, Book Brown, Book Brown set it off. I ended it with some some cutting and some scratching, and man. So we just illustrates that type of dude, though. Mm. He, you know, he thinks about, you know, why don't you write this line for him? You know, we really mm. be in there having fun. I feel like Motown, like his bill. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> definitely, definitely, definitely. Yeah, so it's a little yeah. bit. We are uh, we gonna get into this video. Um, man, I forgot the name. Um, the Land of Passion. Yeah, yeah, Land of Passion. Yeah, we're gonna get into the Land of Passion video. Um, and when we come back, we're going to talk about, you know, how, how these people can get this catalog and why you doing the catalog. Right. And, uh, I don't know. I think I've told you, but I'll tell you on record in front of everybody, man. Thank you for those scratches on two dope boys. Oh yeah. That was a pleasure, <laughs> man. <laughs> those <laughs> things, they made that record. I'm telling you, they made that record. If, for y'all don't know what we're talking about. It's, um, Coop was here last, was that last week? Yeah. Yeah. Coop was here last week. Um, talking about this good day Atlanta album and track number nine. 
two dope boys those scratches all that this guy right here mm -hmm. so yeah definitely thank you for that yeah, yeah dude i love it man i'm trying to keep i'm actually putting together a portfolio of joints i just did scratches on oh man so i just want to have it just to have it you know what yeah I mean? bro so the years, so i'm on um, yeah that's gonna be like the last second to last joint man yeah yeah that, that, that's <laughs> so it far, that's man. it if you need if you need like sessions or anything from that too yo oh, we talking we can talk off hey yeah, go to the go to the video man go to the video <laughs> LiveHipHopDaily.tv Atlanta's only online 24-hour hip-hop TV channel. Watch live podcasts, original content, music videos, and more. LiveHipHopDaily.tv